Uh, yeah, we, we've had uh, a pretty busy fall. We came off of a really successful spring, uh, so we had a great opportunity to kind of just get together and, and as a group get 24 practices in where we had uh, new players, new positions, had a chance to get the incoming players acquainted with uh, the Husky softball program and kind of how we do things here. And and uh, we finished up with some small skills groups where we really had a chance to, to work the work the team and uh, get ourselves ready for the upcoming season. So it was it was fun. It was a quick fall, and it's a great team to work with. Okay, and uh, maybe talk about some of the newcomers, um, what you saw from that group. Um, obviously, knew the program, and, you know, did you see some things you liked with that group? Yeah, you know, we, we graduated three seniors last year, two pitchers and a catcher. So uh, right now we have three catchers that are working really hard to, um, you know, I don't know if you're going to fill the, the shoes of Morgan Emmons, but, uh, you know, be our catcher. So we have uh, Caitlin Astanovich uh, from Chisago Lakes, uh, Sophie Culhane off of Maple Grove, and then um, Ashley Schloler from uh, St. Louis, Missouri. So it's a great group. They're all athletic, and uh, they're, they've been doing a really nice job with the pitching staff. So they encompass part of our, our freshman group um, that we've really been trying to acquaint, trying to get out there. And then... We have Holly Weinenberg, who is an outfielder, so she'll be getting some time out there. She's a you know big, strong, left-handed stick that we have in our lineup. We have Trinity Junker, who is a, a freshman pitcher, also from Chisago, so her and Caitlin played high school ball together. And uh, overall, just a, a real good group added off, rounded off by uh, Gabby Nelson as well. And, and uh, Gabby is a power hitter from Fargo and was the Gatorade Player of the Year. She's kind of battling a little shoulder injury right now but doing a really nice job, and hopefully we can get her back on the field here this spring. Okay, and I guess as far as uh, some of the strengths you see coming forth with this team uh, heading into the spring season, um, you know, after your fall, just what you saw that you'd think this will be uh, be the trademark of this team coming up? Yeah, I think one thing that we've really been trying to recruit the last couple of years is just um, our athleticism. You know, we're, we're really trying to get uh, players that are versatile, um, and I think that this year, you know, we've had some great success in the weight room, and I think we're seeing that on the softball field. Last year, I think we stole, you know, about 170 bases, and, you know, our goal is to uh, get a couple more swipes this spring, and we've been really trying to work on that part of our game. Uh, I love the power that we have coming off the bench. We have a little bit more depth. You know, leading the team as Jasmine Estrada last year was an all-region player, and, and I think she's got some, some great hitters to surround her this year, uh, including we talked about Holly Weinberger. Uh, we have Gabby, um, Haley McFarlane. Sydney Trees will be in the lineup this year. Uh, we look for her to fill in for injured Raven, um, who's out uh, this spring, and I think she'll do a nice job. And then we'll add in with Megan Conrads, who's just been a really consistent bat for us for the last couple of years. And then on the flip side, we have two speedy little uh, slappers, Maya Keating, who was also first team all region, along with uh, Brooke Bolin, who was defensive player of the year. So um, it's a well-balanced lineup. We've got some key pieces that we need to move around, but I think our, our power, our speed, and our pitching are the three things that we're really going to rely on this spring. Okay, and I guess last question I have is just, uh, obviously you had a lot of success last year. Um, you know, I guess what do you see that, you know, how do you build from that, and, you know, what does that success from last year mean to this year's team? Yeah, I think it was a great step for our program. Um, you know, we've been working really hard the last couple uh, seasons to uh, keep moving up uh, towards our goals of uh, being a top contender within the conference and within the region, and I think some of the pieces are in place this year. We have a little bit more depth in our pitching staff uh, with uh, Kylie Thompson's uh, going to be healthy this year. Sydney LaPointe got a lot of innings last year as a freshman. Um, Emma Murphy has done a great job. Lauren Kirchberg is in that rotation as well as we mentioned Trinity. So um, I think having that pitching staff is really going to help us move forward this season. Uh, just a little bit more depth. Um, and so for us it's just learning how to play together since we have some people in some new position. And, and uh, so we're looking forward to the opportunity to get on the field here in February and just kind of see how those pieces all fall together.